Hey y'all, Kentucky Farmer here, and today we are back on the Westbridge Hills map in my test game for my third video about course play. In this video, we're going to talk about saving and loading courses and advanced transfer mode configuration options. If you're new to course play and you missed the first two videos, you might want to go back and start from the beginning. There's a link in the description to my course play tutorial playlist. In the last video, we covered creating a simple course and controlling the tractor as it drives that course. Today we're going to build on that by covering some of the more advanced features that can be used while recording a course. We'll also talk about how to save courses, and finally, how to have a tractor drive multiple courses chained together. To get started, we'll need to jump back into our tractor, and we're going to set up a basic point-to-point -point transfer course that we can use to drive equipment to our main farm. Once again, to start the course, we'll get the tractor lined up and then we'll click Start Course Recording. And then we're going to drive in a relatively straight line until we get past our third waypoint marker. There's our second marker. Our third marker. When recording courses like this, it's important to drive on the appropriate side of the road. Uh, this will help not only avoid potential issues with in-game traffic from the AI, but it'll also help if you have multiple courses set up and running at the same time. So now we actually wanted to turn into our main farm back there. Uh, what I'm doing here is just giving an example of one of the things that you can do in course play. To correct this problem, the first thing we do is press pause. And then we reverse our tractor back to where we wanted to make our turn. Sometimes it helps to go a little bit past that point. Then we're going to use this trash can icon here to delete the waypoints back to where we are. And then you unpause it and continue driving your course. Now that we've gotten back to our main farm area, we're going to go ahead and click stop. And now we need to go ahead and save our course. To save the course, you just click this floppy disk icon up here in the corner. And a box will come up asking you for your course name. There are two ways to do this to keep your courses organized. Uh, the first would be to use a sort of naming convention. Uh, I would typically do, uh, say the course was going to be used for field work, uh, you would specify the F and then the number of the field and what the course is for. So for example, plow, and then sometimes I would also include the tool width, 18 meters. Uh, this course is a transfer course, so you could say trans dealer to farm. Uh, there's a, a more advanced option and in order for that to work I'm just going to simply call this farm. And 
If we click over here on our Manage Courses tab, you'll now see uh, I've got a couple extra ones in here. I'm actually going to go ahead and delete this course. And we'll delete this course. So, you see I've already got a folder in here called Trans. I can create more folders. I'm gonna create another one, call it Dealer. And then I can move this folder, so I select this button here, and then I tell it I want to be a child of the trans folder. And then I can move this course, so we select this button here, and we tell it we want it to be a child of dealer. And now if we read our course structure, it says trans, dealer, farm. So this course would transport from the dealer to the farm. If you follow this hierarchy, you can put another folder under trans called farm move it under here and then say we wanted to make a course that's the opposite of this we could go from the farm back to the dealer uh, we'd save the course as dealer and then we'd put it under the farm folder so trans dealer farm, trans farm to dealer. Uh, you can do this with locations on the map, POIs like the, the dealer and the farm or the BGA. Or you can also add your fields in here, so F1, F2, F3. Alright, for the next part of this we are going to head back to the dealer and we're going to go ahead and drive this course with another one of our tractors. So I'm going to close this out, uh, close course play. I'm going to take this tractor and we're just going to drive it over here and park it. Alright, so for this next part we're going to go ahead and get in our Lamborghini here. If you click on Manage Courses, we do Trans, Dealer, to Farm. And we click this icon here, which will load the course. If you notice, our start point is up here, but one thing I wanted to point out is we don't really have to start there. We know that the course comes through here. So we can just come down here, and we click back onto our course play control tab, and we select nearest waypoint, and then drive course. The tractor will automatically pick up the course, and drive down to the farm. One thing that's important to note is over on this tab here is the speed limits. Uh, currently the speed is being set from recording. We can also say maximum speed in which case it'll do 31 miles per hour on the street, 14 on a field, and the turn speed will be 6 miles per hour. If we wanted to slow the tractor down we could use this Likewise, we can speed the tractor up. Now, if you notice, I did not tell this to stop at the next point or trigger. So what the tractor is going to do is it's going to turn and try and head back to the start point. Unfortunately, it does this by going in a straight line. And if you notice, this is not going to work out well for our tractor. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the driver. And we'll bring them back over here. This time we'll tell them to once again drive the course from the nearest waypoint. But we'll have them stop at the last point or next trigger. This time you stopped. Next I'm going to give an example of how you can chain together multiple courses. To do this we're going to stop our driver and clear out our course. We'll come over here and we're going to start recording a new course. So we're going to get our second waypoint, a third waypoint, and now we can start driving. For this course, we're just going to come around here, 
and come back behind this building and we're gonna stop right here this is uh, when I plant or harvest or do anything on field 17 this is normally where I wind up starting my work from so we're gonna go ahead and stop here and then we're going to save this course F17 and then we're gonna go into our manage courses and we want to move this to trans farm so we're gonna move this to this folder here so we'll go ahead and clear out our course we're gonna move our tractor over here out of the way we're gonna come back up here and we're gonna grab our JCB now going to have it chain these two courses together. So you come into Manage Courses and you select Trans Dealer to Farm and then we want to append Trans Farm to 17. So we'll use the plus symbol to append course at the end. If you notice our waypoint count went up when we did that and we've now got four crossing points. So then we'll come back over here to the course play control tab. We're going to drive back over here and we'll tell it to start the nearest waypoint and make sure we're in transfer mode and drive course. As you can see, he's picked up the course. And this time we're going to be sure to tell him to stop at last point or next trigger. This uh, JCB, they can handle going a little bit faster. If you notice, when we get into the farm here, our start and stop points are gone. come back all the way around here and there's our final stop point he'll come to a stop he's reached his trigger endpoint so we can say stop driver and we'll drive him over here clear our course Hopefully this method of recording and organizing courses will help you get an idea of how this can be scaled out. If you, for example, create a course from the main farm to every field, and then again another set of courses from every field and other points of interest like the dealer and BGA to the main farm, you can then create from your saved courses a route from almost any point on the map that will drive a tractor back to the main farm and then on to some other point on the map. So this concludes the third video of my course play series. In the next video in this series, I'll cover the grain transport mode. If you're interested in trying out course play, I'll put a link in the description below to the mod website. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, be sure to click the like button and subscribe for more farming simulator videos. I'm Kentucky Farmer. Thanks for watching.